Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, friends, as we close this sixth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly, let me recognize your determination and resolve to unite around environmental actions. I thank the government of Kenya for convening the assembly in Nairobi and for infusing a spirit of cooperation and integration across global priorities in finance, nature, climate, all to accelerate our work towards Agenda 2030 and Agenda 2063. Thank you also to the Bureau, Member States, UN Partners, and all the non-state actors joining UNEA 6 in championing solutions that intersect across net zero emissions, safeguarding our global commons, building resilience, and scaling innovative technologies to secure a better future for people and for our planet. Excellencies, our world is under extreme pressure with growing inequalities, fiscal constraint, prohibitive access to markets, and a triple planetary crisis of climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution, all spiraling out of control. The magnitude of these crises has intensified in frequency and impact. Excellencies, we cannot afford to deplete nature's resources without facing serious consequences. The decisions we make today will shape our destiny tomorrow. As we wrap up the sixth session, let us stand firm in recognizing that we must forge ahead, accelerate our efforts, and unite in purpose. This means increasing climate action to safeguard the 1.5 degree target in a manner that conserves and increases carbon sinks and restores ecosystem integrity and resilience. It means updating NDCs to be high ambition and economy-wide with strengthened targets and actions. NDCs that align with pollution-free, biodiversity and environmental sustainability frameworks that guide a resolute transition to a low carbon and a resilient development pathway. It means robust investments in science and technology, reducing waste and converting rubbish into a resource. But more so, it means creating opportunities for people to benefit from the food, energy, green and blue transitions that are urgently needed to achieve the sustainable development goals. Excellencies, we must leave today with a firm commitment to restore humanity's relationship with nature. We must commit to putting environmental sustainability as an engine of green and blue economic transition with inclusive cross-sectoral and multi-level cooperation. Let us amplify the voices of science, of youth, women, local authorities, communities, business and indigenous peoples to deliver hope, trust and prosperity for people and for our planet. Through collaborative efforts and the co-creation of solutions, we bolster our chances of reshaping mindsets and behaviors. Excellencies, let's leverage the momentum generated by UNEA 6 ministerial declaration as a catalyst to the summit of the future to secure a pact for the future that is underpinned by an environmental and climate lens. Together, we can secure a just, resilient, and sustainable future for all where no one is left behind. We have the choice to unite for the only future that truly matters, the legacy that we leave for our children and generations to come. Thank you.